On the streets of Vietnam, scores of schoolgirls wearing white ao dai, the national dress, are living examples of how the country protects and passes on its culture. The origin of the ao dai can be traced back over 2,000 years. The earliest versions were a flowing garment consisting of four pieces of cloth. The finest ao dai are made from top grade silk. But different versions can be worn for daily life or for important events. The ao dai has, over the centuries, absorbed elements from many other cultures yet it remains a uniquely Vietnamese form of dress. It has its roots in the traditional local culture, but is also adapting to the times. These days, designers are exploring ways of bringing new life to this traditional garment. Indonesia. On many of this country's thousands of islands, different styles have evolved of batik, the country's traditional fabric. Batik is an important symbol of Indonesian culture. Although there are those who say it originated in Sri Lanka, most locals agree that it's uniquely Indonesian. The authorities have even made every Friday Batik Day, when all government officials and employees of major companies must wear Batik clothes to work. Using traditional skills handed down through the generations, artisans spend several weeks making a two meter long piece of Batik cloth. This batik designer in Bandung is attempting to blend modern designs and traditional patterns. The fabric, once used exclusively for clothing, is now being adapted for bags and accessories, even high-heeled shoes, as well as other products designed with young people in mind. The coming together of tradition and fashion is creating something new.